Good evening, everybody. How is everyone doing? Thank you once again for joining me in the wrestling room. You can't tell that we're in the wrestling room, but I assure you that we are. Uh, for a tour of that, go back into the YouTube archive. Check that out. But today we have some baseball cards. As you can see, this is 91 Donruss Series 2. <clears throat> Not an overly expensive uh, box to buy by any means. Uh, of course, like every other product, these are still overpriced. You used to be able to pay 5 bucks a piece for them. Now they're up 10 and 15 range. Here's a look at our box. We are once again hunting for the elusive elite insert, which are incredibly tough to pull. We tried... Oh, the box fell apart there. We tried once already with Series 1, so now we are going to give Series 2 a shot. I think everybody is familiar with these at this point. You can find them for about a dime a dozen, honestly. Um, so, we are basically just looking for those Elite cards. Let's uh, refocus there. And here is our design, the green border, same as Series 1, except Series 1 had the blue border and the blue backs, and then the typical Donruss back design. So like I said, we're basically just star searching and uh, trying to track down that elusive elite card. Highlights, those are inserts. They're the bonus cards. Vince Coleman and then Dave LaPointe and then here's a puzzle piece. You can put together a Willie Stargell puzzle. We are uh, not really seeking to do that, but <clears throat> if we can just for the hell of it, we may do that. Most of the good players, Chuck Knobloch rated rookie, are in Series 1. MVP Brian Harper, those are not bonus cards in 91 Donruss like they are in the earlier years of Donner's Nolan Ryan highlights is our first um, star, so we'll set that one off to the side. I don't think there's any good rookies in here. I know, I know Luis Gonzalez has a rookie in '91 Donner's, but I cannot remember if it's Series One or Series Two. I think that it's Series Two, but um, we shall find out. Cecil Fielder. Brian McRae, as you can see their names are not really, good names are few and far between, Andre Dawson, we'll put him in the good pile, there's El Guapo, Rich Garces, Red Sox fans remember him as El Guapo, Craig Biggio is a Hall of Famer, still weird to um, remember him as a catcher, a lot of people don't even remember that he started out as a catcher before switching to second base and then eventually playing the outfield at the end of his career. Some wax stick in there. Mike Perez, Daryl Strawberry after he made the move to the Dodgers. There's Eddie Murray, again not inserts in this set. Ozzie Smith All-Star. There is the Willie Stargell card. That is what the puzzle looks like when you put it all together. We'll put Willie Stargell in the good pile. <clears throat> As I was saying, not really any value to 91 Donruss. You used to be able to pay five bucks for a box like this, but much like everything else, Prices have gone crazy. Brian Barnes, rated rookie. Jack Morris, another Hall of Famer there. Candy Maldonado, Clint Davis. Hopefully I'm not going too fast for everybody. Dave Parker. And then Luis Quinones. Fun thing about these vintage cards like this, which is still weird that these are even vintage at this point, but um, seeing guys like Dave Parker in a Brewers uniform, stuff like that. People always forget Greg Colbrin rated rookie. Again, I'm not sure if those are actual rookie cards or not. Matt Williams, Fred Lynn. There is the Ryan Sandberg MVP that we saw on the box. Bobby Thigpen highlights. That is an insert. 
This was during the time. And there's the Luis Gonzalez rookie card. So as just as I was saying, this is during the time when Donruss would throw the rated rookie logo on um, cards that weren't actually the guy's rookie cards. And then not on others like this Luis Gonzalez. So he was in Series 2 and that, uh, you know, not a lot of value to that, but I did not have that one in my rookie PC. I have his... Um, 91 Fleer, Willie Randolph World Series card, Barry Bonds NL MVP. I also think I have, uh, I believe I've got Luis Gonzalez, Chris Sabo, 91 Tops rookie card as well. Um, I can't remember if he's in traded or the base set. Turner Ward rated rookie, Travis Fryman, sorry, try to keep those on camera for you. Ricky Henderson award winner, he was the American League MVP, and then Gary Sheffield, third year card for him. Saw us pull his rookie out of our recent 89 Donruss break. We managed to find him along with Craig Biggio. Didn't find the Griffey, which is what we were looking for. Brady Anderson, that was another one we found in there. Lee Smith MVP, here's our first checklist. Rance Mullenix, Dennis Cook, Bob Welch, Scott Aldred rated rookie. Jack Clark is a decent name. Roberto Kelly MVP, and then Eddie Murray highlights. Again, those are <clears throat> the bonus card inserts. Doesn't look like they are one per pack, but they are pretty common and there's nothing really special about them since they left them the exact same design as the rest of the base set. There's Burt Blylevin, Mike Harkey, Valenzuela insert, Scott Cooper, that might be Scott Cooper's rookie card, Ben McDonald's second year, David Wells, Ken Griffey Sr., Terry Pendleton, and then there's Barry Bonds' base card. These are all in pretty good shape, too. Uh, of course, at the start of the video, you saw the seal was not on this box. I had uh, ripped it off prior to uh, starting the video because it was all falling apart anyways, but it was basically still sealed. And you can feel pretty safe. Jeff Conine, that is actually his rookie card. Walt Terrell. <clears throat> Put Co-9 on top of uh, Luis Gonzalez down there. Dave Justice Award winner, the 1990 Rookie of the Year. And then George Brett highlights. Put him on top of Eddie Murray. For those wondering, I do make, uh, for, this, for all these videos, I pile everything off, some off to the side. So as you can see, there's the rookies I'll add to my PC. I don't think I had the Conine yet either. These are the good players. Those go in the binders and then inserts. These ones are not high-end inserts, so I'll just sleeve those up. I pretty much only keep the inserts of, like, Hall of Famers. And then uh, really any cool ones you come across. Not expecting any in this box. Daryl Strawberry MVP. Willie McGee highlights. And then uh, off to the side, I have a pile of commons, and then Rob Deere, the final one there. I also do a pile of, like, decent players that don't really have any value or not, like, a ton of value to them. Granted, I know some of the Hall of Famers fall into that category, but I separate them out, so, um, like Daryl Strawberry, David Wells, uh, Sheffield, guys like that go into the separate pile. Sheffield still has an outside shot, I guess. I don't think he'll get in, though. Lance Dixon rated rookie. Jimmy Poole. I think that's the first one I've noticed that had a little bit of a ding to the corner. Javi Ortiz and then another Stargill puzzle piece. You would think with one piece of that puzzle in each pack here, and 36 packs, that you would be able to put the whole puzzle together. But as we find out in, uh, I think it was 91 Series 1, there's a nice pocket. Uh, that's not always the case. Dylan Murphy goes in the decent pile. Greg Vaughn, 
Ron Darling, Fred McGriff also goes in my decent pile. I can't remember uh, Tim Raines, Hall of Famer, Cecil Fielder, Kurt Gibson, bunch of decent pile stuff here, and Hall of Famers, Ryan Sandberg, McIntosh, Sandy Alomar Jr., Mike Scott, Frank Thomas, nice looking crisp Frank Thomas there, and then Barry Larkin, that was about as good of a pack as you could ever wish for out of 91 Donruss. There was only, um, I'm gonna call, I call commons, uh, not the decent players and stuff like that, so I think there was only like two of them in there. Uh, but yeah, back to the puzzle discussion, we did not, um, Sandy Alomar, the AL Rookie of the Year, did not get enough, I think it was 91 Series 1, Alomar, Roberto, to put that puzzle together, so may not be able to do it with this one, even though, like I said, you would think you'd be able to. Look at them goggles on Jim Gantner. As we get close to halfway through this box, in our hunt for the Elite card, Kevin Mitchell MVP, Will Clark is a decent pile, Mo Vaughn, that will go in my Red Sox binder, that is not his rookie card, his rookies are 1990, specifically 90 Bowman, Bill Kruger, batting ninth, so to say, out of that pack, keep trucking along here. There's a Dave Justice MVP. I think he went by Dave for a few years and then um, later came out and said he wanted to go by David. Cal Ripken insert. Highlights. A streak of errorless games highlighting that. Ricky Henderson. That trademark Henderson batting stance. Andy Bennis. And then Russ Swan. Don't think there's any Griffies in Series 2. I think his All-Star and Base are both Series 1, I believe. If I'm remembering correctly, we pulled them out of our Series 1 box. Here's some more dupes. Pretty sure Eddie Murray and uh, Strawberry there were in the same order last time we saw them. Another Willie Stargell, Herm Winningham, Chuck Finley. And then Mike Boddicker. So I think all of those were doubles. Or dupes. Duplicates. Whatever you want to call them. Repeats. I just call them doubles. <clears throat> Dave Winfield. Got a little slight piece of the puzzle left over on him. Rick Sutcliffe. Tony Pena. Mike Devereaux. There's Henderson MVP. The third Henderson we've seen here. Pedro Munoz, Harold Baines, kind of a controversial Hall of Famer, so to speak. <clears throat> I don't know, in my opinion, my, I, I don't, I'm not certain that Harold Baines deserves to be uh, in the Hall of Fame, <clears throat> but if you're going to let him in there, and that kind of lowers the bar. Danny Darwin MVP, Bo Jackson. I think uh, you have to go back and start considering other guys who uh, have not made it in. If you're going to set the standard for one person, I think you need to keep that same standard for everybody. That's just my opinion. And as far as the steroid era guys go. I think it has to be a case-by-case -case basis. <clears throat> you know, I think many would argue that Bonds and Clemens were both Hall of Fame bound before. More dupes here, another Bo Jackson. Um, were both, they were both Hall of Fame bound before any of the steroid stuff even uh, became an issue or HGH, or whatever it was they were obviously doing. <clears throat> so I think, in my opinion, I think Clemens and Bonds should be in. A guy like Canseco or McGuire, um, their, enti their entirety of their careers 
seem to have been propped up by the use of PEDs, so I would not let either of them in there. George Brett, MVP. Can't remember if we saw that one or not yet. And then Delano Shields highlights had four hits in his debut. I did not remember that. <clears throat> and when it comes to guys like Schilling, I think he's an obvious choice. There's no PED questions around him. He's just got a uh, pretty big mouth that always gets him into trouble. Marvin Freeman, Thigpen. I can't really give much of an opinion, Mark Witten, <clears throat> on um, David Ortiz on his chances of getting into the hall because um, as a Red Sox fan, I feel like he should be in there just because he's part of so many historical baseball moments. And was so clutch in the playoffs. Another Bonds award winner. I think Poppy should be in. But that's just my opinion as a Red Sox fan. Like I said. Jose Mesa. The last one there. More than halfway through. Someone like Manny. I I would, I would be a no probably on Manny. Because we have uh, proof that he did it. The, the quote unquote proof on Ortiz is not... I don't know. I don't. I don't see it really as that much proof. Brady Anderson again. Lee Smith. Another guy like A Rod. I don't think A Rod should be in because um, PEDs basically marred the entirety of his career. But again, that's just that's just my opinion. And then Eddie Murray highlights for the second time. Switch hit homers. Got to restack my commons off to the side there. Some of this wax is sticking on much better than some of the previous stuff was. Not really worried about anybody <clears throat> searching these boxes, though, unless they were looking for an elite. There's another Edgar Martinez, or sorry, for the first time, Eric Plunk. First time seeing him, I believe. Mark Davis, Delano DeShields, Knobloch, Rated Rookie, Chris Quinn, that's... Tony's brother, and then Rafi Ramirez. It's a solid stack of puzzle pieces here. I'll, I'm not going to check those out on camera. I'll do that after. Another Brett, and another Delino. There's Edgar, so back to back packs on him, and more of the same. From the last pack there, Paul O'Neill, and then Chili Davis. It's part of the Red Sox staff. Henderson Award winner, Bill Duran. I don't remember him on the Reds. I remember him more with the Strohs. David Segui. I remember David Segui was kind of like a big name prospect at one point. Willie McGee highlights, Drebeck Award winner, the NL Cy Young. Hopefully I'm not rifling through these too quick for everybody. You can still see, see the cards well enough. As our elite hunt continues with Brent Knackert, Steve Balboni, Sid Bream, Teddy Hagera. Lance Dixon, rated rookie, Jerry Don Gleaton, and again, same collation, Kevin Wakander, and then Javi Ortiz. Javi Ortiz, bit of a bit of a mouth breather there, it looks like. Has the uh, John Lackey syndrome, as I call it. Brian Harper, MVP. Nolan Ryan highlights, seen that one already. <clears throat> Mark Lemke, Mookie Wilson, the Blue Jays, obviously most known for his time with the Mets. And here is Bill Swift. Let's see. Yeah, there it is right there out of South Portland, Maine. That is where I live. 
Yes, we are part of the United States. We are not a part of Canada. I also lived in Florida at one point, but I am originally from Maine. And uh, there was Kurt Schilling. Nice one. First time seeing that. Another Knobloch grade rookie. And there were multiple people in Florida that asked me if I was from Canada. Even after telling them that I was from Maine. Another Nolan Ryan there. So, uh, I don't know, maybe the Florida school systems need to do a little bit better. Yes, Maine is a state of the United States. We are not a part of Canada. I just happen to uh, not have too terrible of a New England accent. Will Clark and another Mo Vaughn there. I do pronounce my R's. I probably overpronounce them. However, there is a lot of the stereotypical New England accent. Most people associate it with Boston. Uh, you know, things like Park the Car in Harvard Yard. Yeah, I do not I do not speak that way, as I'm sure you've noticed by watching our vids here on YouTube. <clears throat> I have to keep clearing my throat too, sorry. I've been I had a bit of a sore throat lately. Not to fear. Other than that I feel fine and I am uh Negative, if you catch my drift. Henderson, George Bell, Brad Arnsberg, Andy Bennis again, and then Russ Swan. As we have reached our final four packs here in our second, um, well, I guess we've opened other Donruss boxes, but this is the second one that we are basically exclusively looking for in Elite. Cecil Fielder, MVP. Hopefully y'all have stuck with us. See, I say y'all. That's definitely not a New England thing. Andre Dawson again. And Rich Garces. And then Jeff Manto. Uh, yeah, hopefully y'all have stuck with us up to this point. If you like this hunt, please hit that thumbs up button down below. That's, that is our quote-unquote price of admission. We just ask that you hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, please go ahead and do so. Every little bit helps out. Bill Swift again, Pedro Guerrero, no relation to Eddie. Pretty sure I've used that joke on here before. <clears throat> I am not a comedian, folks, but I sure do try. Final two packs here. We still have some uh, football coming up as well. So we got some... Uh, Wax got stuck to our puzzle piece there. Candy Maldonado, Geronimo Pena, Mark Witten. If you're opening 91 tops, keep an eye out for the Mark Witten error. Kind of rare. Dave Winfield. Strawberry. And then Luis Aquino. As we have reached our final pack again, thanks for joining us. Appreciate any support that I can get from y'all. I gotta stop saying y'all. Dave Steeb insert. No, it's the Indian. There's Sabo. A rare picture of him without his goggles. Billy Hatcher, World Series card. Lee Stevens, Doug Desenzo, Dr. Dirt, and Mr. Clean. So we got Lenny Dykstra and Dale Murphy. First time seeing that one out of this box. Jimmy Kramers, Sam Horn, Jack Armstrong, All-Star. Steve Decker, Jose Rio, Bud Black, and then Jim Neidlinger is the last one there. So we struck out once again on finding an elite card. They are very hard to find. So I wasn't expecting to find one, especially at a 91 Donruss, which is incredibly overproduced so again thanks for watching everybody our next card opening is hopefully going to be some football if some things will start showing up uh but we'll see what happens when that time comes again thanks for watching and we'll see you next time real soon for some more headlocks and hot packs